If we look at um, how um, metastatic disease evolves, it's because of a treatment resistance. By definition, if we treated the patient and they relapse, then that disease uh, figured out a way to be resistant to the treatment. And when we look at the landscape of metastatic disease, we see that it evolves. So um, genomically, um, if we look at primary breast cancer and metastatic breast cancer, we see that there are variations um, in the mutational profile, which would tell us that there are pathways um, that get upregulated to mediate resistance. Um, and as such, we need to be cognizant of that as we're developing the strategies. Um, the other aspect of it is, um, as it stands today, pertuzumab is first line in combination with trastuzumab and chemotherapy or endocrine therapy based on several trials um, it, it, as front line. Now, second line is um, TDM1 or trastuzumab and tansine. Um, so trastuzumab and tansine is second line right now um, with results from Affinity um, and Extenet um, and um, Catherine, um, some proportion of patients is going to be seeing one or more of these agents in the early stage setting. You want to reuse it again in the metastatic setting, then enough time has to pass. And you know, prior retrospective uh, reports demonstrate that the efficacy of agents when reused again or used after, um, uh, more, uh, after more effective treatment, um, it goes down.